Roger Wicker, Republican, a beautiful state of Mississippi. Um, Senator, always good to have you. This isn't your call, of course. This is a House matter. But the notion of Kevin McCarthy vying for his old job, what do you think of that? Well, so much to say, Neil, and so little time to say it. Uh, we need a speaker and, and we need some civility. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that has a, um, a, even some appeal to uh, to Kevin's Democratic uh, colleagues. We, we, we need someone in charge of both houses. And, and, uh, and, and the message should be that we're going to uh, come together as Americans and support one of our oldest and most steadfast allies, Israel. And to the extent that we can uh, uh, prevent shutdowns, can we get back to regular order, passing the appropriation bills, funding our military, uh, that would that would argue for um, getting getting uh, McCarthy back in office. So again, uh, it's not my vote, but uh, we need a speaker real quick, and, and uh, we need to show our American resolve. And we're going to support Israel. We're going to do that on a bipartisan basis. And Senator, as you probably accurately pointed out as well, this did change everything. What happened in Israel on Saturday, and now. I'm wondering what you also made of Kevin McCarthy's view on this unfrozen $6 billion in dough, whether it made it uh, to Hamas or not. Well, we'll refreeze it, essentially. Uh, what did you think of that? I, I think it's part of a larger narrative. Uh, really, th this administration and, and um, two administrations ago with the Obama administration, just a, uh, a, a total misunderstanding of how dangerous Iran was. Um, now, let me say this. Iran has a decision to make at this point. They can try to settle things down in Lebanon and keep their other client terrorist group, Hezbollah, from expanding this war. Um, I, I think there are probably some wise heads in Iran saying uh, this is not going to work out well for us if, uh, if this expands both to Gaza and the Lebanese border. So we'll see what Iran is going to do. But, but uh, to your uh, original question, the, um, the recent payment is just part and parcel of uh, unrealistic response on the, on the part of the Biden administration and previously to that the Obama administration about the danger of, uh, of trusting uh, Iran to do anything toward peace. Um, do you think modern Arab nations or those who are, you know, more interested in in moving forward than going back to old grudges, well, that's all for the time being. There had been overtures on the part of Saudi Arabia to reach out to Israel and vice versa. Egypt already has essentially normalized relations with Israel. Do you fear all of that is in danger, Senator? Well, it, I, th I think it's something to be mindful of, but really I've, I've been encouraged Egypt uh, sent a signal that uh, they had tr uh, tried to, to send some helpful intel ahead of this. I don't know what to make of that. Right, right. But, but what, what I can uh, discern from it is that Egypt is, is making a statement that is sympathetic toward peace with Israel. And so I, I don't think Saudi Arabia uh, wants to go back to the old days. And, you know, the Emirates are coming around. Jordan has been a steadfast uh, ally of ours now for decades and decades. So I, th I think the, the entire weight of history and the uh, trajectory of history is going to be in favor of, of continuing to normalize relationships so all of the people, the Arabs uh, and the Israelis in the Middle East, can live in peace and, and, uh, and, and move together um, forward. Um, so, I, I, but I will say this, we're, we're not going to have peace in Gaza for a while. I, I do expect our Israeli allies now to, uh, to make a real effort to clean out the, um, the Hamas terrorists that, that actually um, uh, brought this about. And, and also, then, Neil, we've got some real questions about our intelligence capability uh, not only the, the Israeli intel failure in this regard, uh, but also the, to the extent that uh, there may have been signals that we missed. So that is a huge question. But to me, uh, I, I think all in all, we're going to continue toward normalization of, um, 
of people in the Arab world that that want to live in the modern times and, and advance their people rather than continue with a, a, a centuries old grudge. All right. It's still early on. We hope cooler uh, heads do prevail. To your point, Senator, thank you very much. Uh, in the meantime, we stand. We stand with Israel. Understood. We're going to stand with Israel on a, on a bipartisan basis. Un understood, sir. Thank you very much. By the way.